Hello everyone and welcome now to game number three in this series. Let me check something real fast. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Not quite sure what that was at all. All right, game number three in this best of three series. We are all tied up at one game apiece. And really, really impressive showing by Xiao Shi Shi in game number one, only to have an equally as impressive game coming in from Tho in game number two. Game number three taking place on Amazonia. Tho spawning as the purple human on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we have Xiao Shi Shi spawning as the red night elf. Night elf versus human. And I don't know if game one was a fluke when he chose random, but we'll see what this all entails as we now see, oh, a little bit of aggro um, being pulled over and Xiao Shi Shi now taking a bit of damage already. This is going to be extremely bad news. As you now see, Xiao Shi Shi's Ancient of War already down to 500 some odd hit points. It's going to be a bit of lost resources just to repair and also a significant no amount of hit points lost as well. All right. Ancient of War down to 957 hit points. Uproots himself, now making his way over, but he is not going to be able to train up an archer anytime soon. He does, however, start eating a tree so he can regenerate hit points while training up that archer and that means that the demon hunter and the archer will have to work extra fast compared to this archmage who is pretty much going to open up with your standard militia creep now so far no sign of a tower rush yet no lumber mill at all and the number of peasants seems to come to a stop at 21 maybe at 22 that is going to be um, a really, really big effort there. As we now see the archer going to go ahead and deal a little bit of damage. Wow, Xiao Shi Shi's Ancient of War back up to pretty much 100% already. As you can now see, the archer is coming into position to try and take down this renegade wizard. Very, very nicely done as the lightning shield dealing a lot of damage to the renegade wizard. Sounds like my rice cooker is done as the claws of a tox plus six has been picked up. All right, Rogue going to go ahead and get taken down here. Last Rogue will get fixed and taken out as well as the Archmage is still creeping out on his side of the map. 533 Creep Camp, Mantle of Intelligence has been creeped out as uh, has been picked up. Very nice item by the Archmage as the Archmage himself has a plus nine attack at level two. Very, very nice items on that Archmage. It really, um, it really just adds a significant amount of damage. If you're not quite sure how much damage or whether or not that damage is that impressive, um, consider that the Footman um, has an, what, uh, a fast attack speed and does about 12 damage in attack. Um, the Archmage now with that range plus 9 is almost an extra Footman. All right, a little bit of a detonation there. As we can see, the Murloc Tide Runner will get taken out. Footman now running back down on the side. That is actually a lot of peasants. Uh, we're up to 30. And are we going to be seeing perhaps a little bit of a creep camp clear? All right. There is a mana burn. Demon Hunter now trying to come back around. Demon Hunter engaging against the Archmage. The Militia now coming over as well. And the Militia could be coming in to deal a lot of damage. Archmage now coming back over. Militia just pushing the Demon Hunter off into a corner. Not quite sure. Oh, Shadow melding a Demon Hunter. Beautifully done there. And the Demon Hunter may go after the Archmage again. Yes, does in fact do that. A big, big miss all around the board as the Archmage is getting in a lot of damage. What is happening here? The Demon Hunter falls very needlessly, and I can't believe what I saw there. That was like, yeah, that was a rather sloppy showing by Xiao Shi Shi. Xiao Shi Shi pretty much just throwing in the towel in disgust at this point, knowing that he, he, he took a golden opportunity in game number one fell to a mind fake in, or a, yeah, a head fake in game number two and then just lost micro in game number three very very short game there still want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for listening um kind of the the reverse of how i generally want to cast my games where the last game should be the most exciting not the first one and then it just kind of goes downhill to a four minute four minute three second hey i misclicked Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.